Keanu Smith, possibly Carrington, and just, you know, the backcourt that they have? Um, well, just like previous years, um, they're both two forces to be reckoned with. Um, but as long as we all watch our film and we stay focused on the task at hand, I think that we'll be able to carry out a win. Happy with the response from, from Friday's loss on, on Sunday? And kind of how was the days in between that game? Yes, for sure. Um, there's a lot that you can learn from a loss, more actually than you can learn from a win. Um, and I think that my team did a great job in coming together, and we had a one-day turnaround, so it was really quick, especially going into a game where you play a top 25 team. Um, and we really responded well and came out with a great win at the end of the day. Um, so, yeah. Were those two of the more physical games that you guys have played this year? Um, physical? I think, yeah, all Pac-12 schools and teams are physical and hard teams to play. Um, from 1 through 12, everyone are great teams. So I would say, yeah, they're both very physical. Arizona State, that's one thing that they're known for is their physical physicality. So, How do you think your freshmen did? You know, you, you can't really experience mm -hmm. a Pac-12 road trip until you actually do it. How do you think they responded? I think they responded great. Um, they're learning, obviously, because they're freshmen. And playing the Pac-12 is something that you don't really know about until you actually do it. Um, and so they're doing great. They're learning every day, and I'm proud of them. Arizona State obviously caught a lot of people off guard being you guys and Oregon State. Mm -hmm. Was there anything about them that surprised you guys? I'm not really surprised just because I'm used to the way that they play. Um, I think it maybe we weren't on our toes as we should have been. That's why we didn't come out with a win. Um, but, yeah, I mean, they play the way they've been playing for the last four years that I've been here in the Pac-12. So. Is this about as tough a two-week stretch as, as it, there might be in, in college basketball right now between Stanford and then Oregon State, kind of back-to-back mm -hmm. -back like that? Oh, yeah, for sure. I think that we have one of the hardest schedules in the, the country um, just because of our conference and its strength. Oregon State, Stanford, then we go to UConn and in in Utah and Colorado stretch, um, UCLA as well, and all the other teams that we're playing. So, I mean, it's difficult, but I think that we're fully capable of it. Is it a stretch where the conference title, where postseason mm -hmm. seeding could be impacted? Do you guys embrace that, or do you try to block that out? Embrace it for sure. Um, just playing our game. Uh, Coach Gray said the other day in practice that we haven't even reached our full potential yet, and nothing close to our full potential. So when that does come around and we're able to get everything together, um, I think it's a scary sight. So we're excited for that. Sabrina has the chance to become the all-time leading scorer here. As someone who goes a ways back with her, do you think she's motivated? Has it been mm -hmm. your sense she's motivated by like legacy? Some players want to leave a mark, want to leave a legacy. Mm -hmm. Do you get a sense she's motivated by that at all? Um, I don't think that she really tries to focus on that. I think that she tra tries to stay consistent, which she has done. Um, she kind of tries to block out the noise and then whatever accolades that come along with it just come along just because of the player that she is. Um, but I think she's motivated just by our team winning and being able to carry our team to postseason and all, hit all the goals that we want to hit. Um, but not necessarily the accolades and all-time score. Like, that will all come to, like, one of these days. You've said before the way you like about her playing against her and mm -hmm. with her is that she's a pass-first player. So what does that say about her skill set that she's going to be the all-time leading scorer as well? <laughs> I mean, it says, it speaks on its own. We all know Sabrina. Um, she does it all, basically. Um, but it's she's a great teammate all around. And just the fact that she'll be able to hit that accolade on one of these games is awesome. Um, and it's something that she should be proud of. And we're all proud of her. In your years playing Stanford, what has stood out to you about their team in the competition against the Cardinal? Just their poise. They have a system that they run, and they run it to a T. Um, Tara, Coach Tara Vanderbilt has their her players very, very focused, and they do the same thing every single year, and it hasn't changed. Um, also this year, just their youth and how they still have been able to carry themselves. Um, they're very a very young team. I think they're starting like two to three freshmen, um, which is really awesome, and they've been able to have a lot of success. So we'll see that coming in tomorrow. Did you keep up with the WNBA, CBA news at all? I'm just kind of curious your thoughts on – you know, there's a higher baseline mm -hmm. salary. You know, there's paid maternity leave. There's mm -hmm. all of these things that indicate the league is is growing and making yes. it more viable to play full year round in the WNBA. Yes, I've seen a couple of posts on social media, which I think is completely awesome. It's something that women have been trying to push for years. So the fact that we're starting to slowly get recognition and sl slowly get those um, raises and benefits for maternity leave and all that is very great. And I hope it keeps going forward. Did the way you guys played defensively in the fourth quarter against Arizona State, I think they scored 30 points and hit a lot more shots mm -hmm. than they had previously. Is that something that could be something you focus on just in terms of building off of that and, and playing better? Yes, yes, for sure. We've been playing better as a team, right. um, but we did have that dip, and you can't have those dips, especially right now in, in this the time of year that we're playing in. Um, but I think it was just a reality check, and it just gave us the ability to come in and practice in all these other practices and be able to focus on that. Um, when you watch it on film, it's kind of like, 
it's someone you want to take back you know uh, it's one of those that hurt but you can't take it back you only learn for it and go and go forward when you were at USC last mm -hmm. year did you take notice of the 40 point win Oregon had over Stanford last year <clears throat> I saw it and I was really confused <laughs> um, but I, it just shows when you're focused and you're capable um, we're capable of doing it and so when you're focused on the offense and you scout right and you watch film and you're focused at practice it just goes to show what you're capable of like Stanford's a great great team but all teams are beatable.